we're always trying to find that balance here. It is what do you replace and what do you keep? Depending on what the uh, end goal is, we'll pull a boat into the shop and either restore it or ma do maintenance work on it. This one was donated just a few years ago, but it was right alongside the pier one day and um, an old fella came along and uh, said, this looks a lot like the boat my father had built and I grew up on as a kid. And it turns out it was. So they had a whole bunch of photographs of the boat, boat, boat from the day it was launched, of the builder building it, and basically filled out the story of its early life. So it was a rare combination of having a very complete idea of a boat from the 30s, of a complete story to tell. That's when we're trying to save historic fabric. So we're always trying to find that line of keeping the boat uh, usable, but also structurally sound. Trying to use my old pieces of hammock. Transfer all my important points across. Uh, well, I've always liked building things and always been a sailor, so kind of the combination um, worked together. And then I, I history major and. Uh, particularly interested in fisheries and fishing history, so it was a very rare thing where a lot of my interests came together in one job. I've been here for 20 years. When I was in high school, I was studying woodworking um, with a cabinet maker, and I was never very good at cutting square lines. Curved things I can bend my brain around, and so I went to a wooden boat building school here in, in the Bay Area. I then did a two-year apprenticeship at the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum, and then ended up totally out of the boat business altogether and was running a Meals on Wheels program. Um, but that gave me some volunteer management experience. Um, and since we have such an active volunteer program, um, those, those two skill sets kind of came in handy. We created the shop and what we do here based on what we, what, what our job, and what our interests are. And... We do a couple of sales a year and we also have a couple of festivals. Kind of carve the niche for ourselves here and taking care of one small part of the, the local Bay Area history. It's, but uh, I think a very interesting thing.